Yeah. All right, karibu sana. Welcome to uh, Sport Monday and welcome to Day Break Sports. Uh, let's start with, of course, uh, um, uh, as we wait for some certain th things here. We have Gorma here. Wakasikia mlilio wa shitera, wakasema wame ndio. Let's now move a little bit and start winning other things. And they thrashed. What's the name of that team? Z Zor. From Burundi. Hey, your team <laughs> Burundi. They thrashed it five goals sure. to one. Was it a good goal or a weak Burundi? It was a good goal. <laughs> you know, uh, what I like about goal, Octay uh, left because he was saying that he, uh, he couldn't play with the boys, mm -hmm. with the young, young boys. Mm -hmm. Because Gore uh, had a disadvantage because some of the players, uh, like Kahata left, uh, experienced player Shakava left, mm -hmm. and uh, they brought in uh, young boys. Mm -hmm. That team is so good. If you look at the midfield, we have Tobias, mm -hmm. a very good player. Look at uh, Moguna, a very good player who is now a captain. If you look at the defense, we have the Berlin Wall MVP. Uh, is a good player. If you look at the forward, they, they are good. Mm -hmm. And I believe that if we give them time, if we give this coach time, which it, it's always hard uh, uh, in Kenya, he's going to make Gore be a good team. Mm -hmm. So we cannot say that it was a weak team that Gore played against. Mm -hmm. Gore was good mm -hmm. in every department. In, mm -hmm. in goal, Mapigano was good. Defense was good. Mm -hmm. Midfield was okay. And if you can see this, and I really like, because last time I complained about Nick Mwenda not attending calf matches uh, mm. Gore were playing last season. Mm. And yesterday seeing uh, the president in the field was a good motivation. And that, with that, uh, I think Gore can, can go, can go forward. Yes. Go, go forward. What do you think about Gore's performance? We're going to be checking the highlights in a short while, but what do you think about their performance? <coughs> so it was a weak Burundi. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, wacha to see yanze ku pair watu sifa mapema mapema it was a very weak burundi and congratulations gorma here that is the way to go because uh, when you get a team you can uh, you have to be ruthless yeah you have to be ruthless then going forward because gorma here itakutana na the likes eventually itakutana na the likes of akina zamalek al ahli uh, esperance so uh, the preparation is very key at this point in time and uh, um, I think uh, in my view Okute left not because uh, young players were being signed. Mm -hmm. I think the show that uh, Gorma here went through uh, when they were playing in Berkane in Morocco I think did not uh, make Okute happy and any professional coach will not be happy because he did whatever he, it took. Uh, they went past Zamalek, they went past Petro Atletico of Angola uh, to secure, uh, 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 to secure a, a place uh, against Berkane. But the office did not facilitate the team to, to go and play and uh, record uh, the desired results. So to me, I think uh, the, the uh, uh, Gorma here still uh, have something to prove because Early st it's, it's an early stage where they are, they are going through the preliminaries and they will go through what will happen if now it's time to meet the likes of Esperance, the likes of Akinatipi Mazembe, the big giants of Africa. So the test is still out there. It's still early to say that Hegor Maya are doing something good. I think it was a weak Burundi. But, uh, they stood, <laughs> but no, Raburu, they stood up. They stood up. Uh, they stood up and won. But congratulations, Raburu, yes. Raburu, It's not the first time Gore is playing calf matches. Mm -hmm. Gore has experience, mm -hmm. and I'm very. Uh, I think uh, Swila will, will will add on that because when Octay uh, left. He was so bitter about uh, Kahata leaving, Shakava leaving, and all these experienced players Why leaving. Why did they leave? And, but uh, you cannot uh, put a player uh, who wants to leave. Gore will always Look make players Kompa. and they leave. <laughs> Gore will always make players and they leave. What? What? Why did they leave? You see the show, the show uh, that the, the players, the likes of Akina Kahata, Shakava, and they were victimized for taking pictures. So a good player will always look for opportunities. You lost good players not because uh, you don't have money, not because you are not playing good, good football, but because you mismanaged the players, period. All right, well, uh, Swila, Karibu sana. Watch your thing, watch your thing. I'm here, you know he was throwing stuff <laughs> I'm not in the house. He can Welcome. throw it where I'm Welcome. here. Welcome. 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 Welcome.
<laughs> eh, coast nimeleta madafu <laughs> madafu itawasaidia kama Arsenal. He's been touring the whole world anyway. Uh, Raburu you see uh, Gormi beating uh, Noya Noya I believe that's how you pronounce it from from Burundi. It's not a surprise to us. Everybody expected Gorma here to stream roll that team and march into round one. Uh -huh. So that's not a shock. But now the real test begins at round one where they're going to, to meet USM Algiers. Remember they locked horns with them two seasons ago. We had Milton covering that assignment. But to me, that 5-1 victory should not co sugarcoat the uh, administrative uh, malfunctions we are having at Gorma here. Soon rather than later, if they don't get the script right, they are going to be ex uh, exposed again. You saw the shame we experienced in Bekan, Morocco. Mm -hmm. It could again rear its ugly head because it's all about planning and the finances. And we all know right now the finances is quite mm -hmm. hard. He was raising a fundamental question and the two of them couldn't agree on why Kahatas and Shakavas of this world left. We all know the paycheck is so slim yes. and the God is struggling to retain the best of the best. Mm. So even right now they've given a platform to those youngsters like Otienos and everybody, the Katis. But again, at the end of the season, assuming God does well continentally, we are yes, going we to see another massive yes. uh, exit. Yeah, guys running for the exit door. That shouldn't be the case. And even if Gore scored 10-0 or they go all the way to the quarters and they don't address one issue that we've been singing along, uh, singing over time and again, then we are not going to see the solution. For the fans, they can gloat because they're looking at the short-term solution. Yes, we've beaten so-and-so. But are you asking yourself the hard question, beyond that success on the pitch, what are you having? How? How healthy is your financial situation? Are you able to sign Raburu and keep him for three years? Uh, do you have a clubhouse where your club history is documented? Do you have a functioning secretariat? Uh, can Gorma here afford to go for boot camp in South Africa? Can they afford to pay air tickets for 30 players to Morocco to and fro without feeling the pinch? These are the questions we need to ask ourselves. The answer is unequivocal no. If it is unequivocal no, how are you planning to uh, bridge that gap? And Shitera will tell you there aren't any viable plans uh, in the making that would make Kogalo a powerhouse as far as attracting the best talent and keeping it is concerned. For two seasons running, they've lost Medi Kagere to Simba, they've lost Francis Kahata to Simba, Three weeks ago, Simba were in SA for a boot camp. We haven't seen that happen here. The best we see is Gorma here going to Hatum or to, let's say, uh, Zambia on invitation. But we have not seen them reciprocate. So time is of essence, yes. They have done well. They're the best club in our show. But now, what can they do to right. ensure they retain the best? We have that, uh, that game. We'll take a look at that game and see Vile Kulienda Apo as uh, one, some Gituko, I think, wants to also uh, show himself. We dare him to come and do what he's doing off screen, on screen. But it is, <laughs> it is uh, let's take a look at that game. <laughs> Yagor. <laughs> We knew it was going to be a hard game, but we started really well after, after front foot and um, I think it surprised them and I think that's why we got after 15 minutes with two goals. So um, I was quite happy with the performance today. 